on. Hey everybody, welcome to our webinar. It's Laurent again with Young's Dental. Today we have Eduardo and Michelle will be joining us in a few to talk about Tokoyama and the products that they have. Uh, and they want to introduce to you guys if you guys don't know about the product. I'm sure you guys heard of uh, their product before. So uh, we're gonna talk about the product and also go about the CDA promotion as usual. And we're gonna start with Eduardo first and Michelle is gonna join us. So Eduardo, how are you doing today? I'm good, how are you? Doing good, thank you. I just uh, wanted to see if you have the time to explain to us a little about the product you have today. Sure, sure. First of all, thank you for having us. This partnership is really important for Tokiyama. I am an associate product manager and I take care of Tokiyama Universal Bond. So this is a great universal bonding agent. Other than other great products we have, Michelle will be joined later to talk about Omnicroma. And I want to share with you all like what are the unique attributes of Tokyo Universal Bone and what makes this product unique and amazing and why you should try. I will share my screen with you so I have a presentation so we can go from there. Give me a second. Okay, let me see if you can see my screen. Yep. Okay, let's open the. Okay, so here's our eighth generation Tokuyama Universal Bond. It comes in this two bottle system, but I will tell you later how it works. The application is really simple and easy and we will love it. So to start, let's take back, um, step back and take a look of the bonding agent history. So here I wanted to bring up to you your intention. Uh, one of the common improvements made in every generation compared to the previous one. So uh, let's take a look on the fourth generation bonding agent. So look how many steps you had in order to complete just the bonding age, the, the bonding procedure. Like imagine like on the restoration, to complete the full restoration, you had only on the bonding, you have to etch, rinse, prime, and bone. So, if we take a look and we see that is narrowing down on the seventh generation where we have the one bottle system and one single step. So this tells us something that every generation, um, the manufacturers were trying to reduce and make the steps more simplified. So, for the eighth generation, it's the current generation and where we call also universal bonding agent, means that the steps are even more simplified, but also they call universal because the category comes with the promise to be uh, the versatility of having compatible with many materials and also compatible with direct and indirect restoration because the previous one, since even the seventh generation was only compatible with direct restorations only. So we see that all those changes from the, those categories comes for reduced doctors to save time, costs and inventory because they will not need all those products and ended up in inventory waste or expiration in order to complete just the bonding procedure. And the eighth generation or universal bonding agent category, it's been a future trend because the numbers don't lie. We're seeing the sales growing so fast compared 
to the other generations because the doctors are making the switch. They are, this uh, category be, are becoming more relevant as it comes with the promise to reduce time, costs, and inventory. But choosing a bonding agent also comes with challenge. The first challenge that we see is the bond strength. So doctors really pay attention of the bond strength studies and also how it performs in different materials because no doctor wants to deal with a failure restoration. And most of the time, a failure restoration comes because of the bond strength. And because of weak bonding strength as well, it can cause sensitivity, like post-optive sensitivity, which again, it's one of the major issues with doctors having to deal with sensitivity. And not only those challenge, we have also different protocols. Every manufacturer requires a different protocol, which can cause confusion. And also you have to train your staff if you change the protocol, if you change the product. So this is one of the challenges as well. And luckily, Tokuyama has a solution. So we have this great bonding agent that is called Tokuyama Universal Bond. All materials, one protocol. We have this phrase, all materials, one protocol, because it bonds to every restorative materials and you always gonna follow the same and simple protocol. And it has four unique attributes uh, of this uh, bonding agents compared to the same um, products that it has in the same category. So we claim to be true universal. We claim to have reliable bond strength, to be self-cured, Yes, so this bonding agent is the first and only universal bonding agent on the market that is self cure so no need for light cure the bonding anymore. And it has quick and easy application. So I will tell a little bit more of this four unique attributes. Let's start with true universal. So we say that it's true universal, because Tokuyama Universal Bond is self etch, so no need for etch. The etch is not required, but also if you do feel comfortable on doing etching techniques, Tokuyama Universal Bond is compatible with total and selective etch techniques. Also, Tokuyama Universal Bond is compatible with all light cure, dual cure, and self cure materials without a use of additional primers or activators. All the primers and activators are included on Tokyo Universal Bond and can be used as a primer for silica base, zirconia base, and metallic restoration. So, again, no more need to stock like those famous metal primers because. Those primers are already included on Tokyo Universal Bond. And as I mentioned before, it's compatible with direct and indirect restorations. And while you're doing indirect restoration, also be in mind that you do need the loading agent, uh, you need the cement. Um, Tokuyama also has a great product that is called STSM2, that is our dual cure. Resin cement, it's a permanent cement. And it comes with the Tokuyama Universal Bond because you do need the bonding agent. Uh, it gets all these great benefits of Tokuyama Universal Bond, like the simple application, the reliable bond strength. The cement itself, it's high static, so hy hydrophobic minimal water absorption for reducing cracking or discoloration. But I will tell you later about uh, SSM if anyone has questions and also if you have 
if you want to have more information, you can go on the website. The website is STSM two eyes, so II, STSMII.com. So you can read more about, we have some uh, bond strength uh, comparison as well. And if anyone wants to go later, I will send on the chat the link to the STSM website. But going back to Tokyama Universal Bond, so pretty much every direct and direct cases are covered with Universal Bond. So here's some cases like intraoral uh, repair of composites, um, metal, porcelain fused to metal without any additional primer. Again, all the primers are included. Or bonding and repair of dental resin to metal base, glass attachments, even bonding of core buildup using core buildup materials. So again, even the, the self-cure mode is great on this technique as the light, it's difficult to read on those cases. And we say true universal, and we like to compare uh, our product with what they are offering in the same category. So we, we brought up eight major competitors on, those, on this category to show you that what they claim to be universal, but they actually do require additional steps or additional products to become universal. So Tokyama Universal Bone, you see there is a check mark in all the applications. And if we take a look, for example, on the Scotch Bond Universal from 3M, while you're doing an indirect restoration, you have to be careful. There's a warning there. So it requires a dual cure activator, activator depending on the material you're using. But if you're using um, the same company's looting agent, you have, you don't need to, it doesn't require the activator. So there's confusion there. If you not using the same manufacturer's products, you, you follow this protocol, but if you have the same line of products, you follow this protocol. So this creates confusion. And with Tokyama Universal Bond, it does not matter with manufacturer you're using your looting agent. You always gonna follow the same and simple protocol and Universal Bond has all those check marks in all those cases without ever asking for extra products or extra steps. Look how nice it is. So the second unique attribute, it's a reliable bond strength. It has high bond strength to all dental materials, virtually eliminates post-off sensitivity, do contains HEMA, that is one of the desensitizers agent. It has great cavity adaptation to avoid, to, to without void, and perform with a wide mixing ratios for margin, error margins. That means that um, Tokuyama Universal Bomb comes in the two bottle systems and all you need is one drop of each bomb into the same container. But in those cases that you act by accidentally drop two of the bomb A, you don't have to match the drops of bond B, you can still drop only one of the bond B. I will show you later what does that mean. So we're really proud of our research and development in Japan. So again, we like to compare our product to what we have in the market, especially on the bonding agent category. So we see here a bond strength comparison in self edge mode to enamel and denting. We even compared our universal bond with our own previous generation bond force, that is the seventh generation bonding agent. So we see that 
results from 24 hours after it's bonded and after 3000 thermal cycles, which is go hot and cold, hot and cold 3000 times. So you see that Tokuyama universal bond, it's one that even after the thermal cycles delivers one of the highest bond strength on the category. We also did it for ceramic and zirconium. Those materials are considered tough for bonding. And you see that after the thermal cycles, it has a drop on the bond strength, but it's still high enough even compared to what we see from the competitors. Again, in indirect composite and precious metals, So as we state that it has reliable bond strength, here's the proof that we have to show you that actually delivers high bond strength. And we do have more of the bond strength studies in our website. It's under our technical report. So if any of the doctors is interested in looking for an uh, understanding more about the bond strength study that we have, it's on our website, tokuyamauniversalbond.com, and I will share the link as well with you. Here, just to show the uh, voids, so Tokuyama Universal Bond leaves no gap. This is a amplified picture. So we compare with Scotch bond. And then you see as well, their Scotch bond leaves a little bit of gap and Tokyo universal bond leaves no gap. And here's a study that we did also, as I said, I mentioned before, the one drop of each bond and if you by accidentally drop two drops of bond A, you still can drop one drop of bond B. And here is the comparison. There are some fluctuations on the bond strength, but even though if you always get one and one, it will give you really high bond strength results. Okay. And another attribute of Tokuyama Universal Bond is the self-cure active chemistry. So Tokuyama Universal Bond is the first and only self-cure universal bonding agent on the market right now. And I tell you why the self-cure really matters. So uh, imagine if you were working on the class two restoration and it's deep, you have to go seven or eight uh, millimeters down or you were bonding a post or car build up. Like how do you really know that the light, it's photo curing that bonding age, right? So with Tokuyama Universal Bond, no more gas works because you don't have to like cure the bonding, you just have to air dry. And that's it. Or in cases like pediatric cases, um, every second counts when you want to get the kid off the chair as fast as you can. So as you don't need to light cure, you don't need to agitate. So the chair time is really reduced helping on those cases as well. A question, how, how long does it take to uh, cure by itself? So the protocol, it's right here. What's well, my next slide? It's okay. only 10 seconds air dry. So the first five seconds, you would do weak air just to thin out the film and dry the surface and followed by five seconds of strong medium air to evaporate the solvent. Once the solvents evaporate, you start polymerizing. So it's really quick and easy application. It, the application take, takes less than 25 seconds. 
you always gonna follow the same and simple protocol for every case and every material. No need for agitate, no need for wait between the steps, no need for like here. So all you need is one drop of each bone into the same container, as you see on the picture one, and then you give a quick stir, no need to mix for like five seconds or 10 seconds, anything, just like a quick stir, and then you apply the mix to the preparation. If you're working with indirect restoration, you also will apply the bonding to the restoration before you apply the cement or the loading agent. And then you will air dry. The air dry, it's really important to follow this protocol because as you not like hearing, this step will make sure the polymerization is completed. So five seconds weak air followed by five seconds strong medium air. And that's it. And then if you're doing a direct restoration, you just apply your composite. Or if you're doing indirect restoration, you just apply your cement. Uh, Topiam Universal Bond, it's compatible with any resin-based cement. So pretty much universal. Here, as we have a video here to show uh, the, this unique attribute of quick and easy application, uh, we compared with three major players in the market right now. So you can see how quick and easy is the application of Toquiam Universal Bone. Uh, the video, there is no audio, so no worries if you have any problem um, listening because there's no nothing to listen. I'm gonna play right now so you can see what I'm talking about, quick and easy application. We have Tokuyama Universal Bone, Adhesive, Scotch Bone, and Channel Select. So, as you can see, the three of them requires rubbing for 20 seconds. Universal Bone, there's no rubbing and no need for weight, no need for light cure. So you see Tokyo Universal Bond is done, ready to fill with your composite. And you see Scotch Bond still running at one minute, one minute and four seconds. So as you can see how quick and easy universal bond it is, I did some quick calculation here. And as with Tokyam universal bond, you are not rubbing the surface. So you reduce 20 seconds of rubbing and you're not like curing like the light cure is minimum of 10 seconds. Some of them requires even more light cure, depends on the intensity of your light, of course. And here we have the product line for Tokuyam Universal Bone. Uh, we sell the Universal Bone kit, which comes with the full size bottle that is 5 ml bond A and 5 ml of bond B. 25 uh, disposable applicator micro brush and 15 disposable mixing wells. So this kit goes for MSRP for $142. Uh, if you're interested in checking up with Young's Dental, uh, their price, you can even get like something cheaper than that. The, but if it goes for $142, uh, I did a simple math here, like the two bottles gives you 
250 applications if you get it one drop of each bottle each time and you only do one uh, restoration per drop like I know some doctors can do multiple restorations but uh, with this 250 applications the price per application is only 56 cents so it's pretty cheap compared what you have in the market right now and also we sell the bond a refill and bond b refill as well and those goes for the same price which is uh, 67.50 and we sell as well the disposable mixing well uh, comes with 50 of them and the msrp it's around 30, uh, 29 dollars and those mixing wells uh, they are special because uh, the design is relative deep so it keeps the working time of Tokuyam universal bone for longer up to three minutes uh, why because once you mix uh, the liquid from bone A and bone B together, it starts to polymerize. So the contact with oxygen will dry the liquid. And because of the design of this mix, well, you have the working time of three minutes. And right now we are having a really special offer, which is a buy one kit and also you buy a uh, bone A refill and you getting at no charge a bone B refill so you having at no charge around 6750 uh worth it of product and if you want to get um this promotion you can use the promo code U220 now let's go talk about good stuff <laughs> so for every doctor that is here something good is coming up we have samples of this product coming free samples actually and this sample size is great uh, this is a mini kit which has enough product to perform about 50 applications because as we use the same size bottles as the full size, we just fill less. So there's one ml each bottle, which if 500, uh, if five ml gives you 250 applications, one ml gives you 50 applications. So it's a really good sample size for free. Um, it's coming up this um, campaign, the sample campaign, uh due to this current situation with the pandemic uh we don't have a time for when this campaign will start so we have this link here uh that is offers.tokuyama-us.com-waitlist so if you're interested please take a screenshot like take a picture and you can sign up you're just gonna feel like some simple information and you will be entered in the wait list and once those free samples are available we will let you know and you will be able to request your free sample so this is great news i'm really excited and hopefully you will be able to try universal bond and you will be able to see how it can help improve your practice, save time, costs, and inventory. That is great. And right now, I will leave for uh, questions and answers. Uh, before we go there, I have some frequent asked questions uh, that always come up on the meetings. So, the first one is what is the film thickness so Tokyo universal bond it has really thin layer only five microns the expiration uh, date so the shelf life is two years uh, and Tokyo universal bond does require require refrigeration uh, the refrigeration is only overnight so we recommend taking the universal bone 
out of refrigerations 20 minutes before the first application. There's nothing to do with the liquid. It's only because of the bottles, the plastic bottles are too rigid and it's hard to extrude the uniform drop. So you can leave the universal bone in room temperature throughout the day. And once you go home, finish your day, you put it back. So this way you keep the two years expiration date. And as I mentioned before, those mixing wells that comes with the kit, also there's five of them on the mini kit once we are able to uh, start our sampling campaign. So you can try as well. So those mixing wells gives you a working time of three minutes. And once you run out and you don't want to use or don't want to purchase those again, uh, and you want to use a standard mixing well, depends how shallow it is, gives you 30 seconds to one minute working time. Uh, this working time means uh, once you mix bone A, bone B drops, it will start to self cure. So that is the working time between you mix the drops and apply to your preparation and restoration. And then once you air dry, there's no more working time. Like if the uh, preparation is isolated and there's no contamination, the working time, it's none. So the working time again is just between when you mix it and apply. And then after you air dry, there's no working time. And if any doctor has any questions right now, I will be able to answer. I believe I just have to click on Q&A, right? Yeah, at the moment we don't have any questions, but uh, before we let you get going and have Michelle take over, um, yeah, you know, we like the word free, of course. And if you haven't tried the universal bond from Tokuyama, feel free to sign up for that. And so you can right. get your free trial and, and hopefully you like the product and then continue using it. Yeah, definitely. Yes, yeah, so just a uh, reminder, uh, the free sample, it's uh, for new users only, it, and it's limit for one doctor based in the US. Okay. okay. All right, thank All you. How are you? Okay, thank you. I think right now I'm gonna go over to my co-worker Michelle talking about Omnichroma. Hey Michelle, how's it going? Hi, thought I'd just hop on here real quick. It is going well. Um, good, I hope good. everyone's doing well in their homes. Um, I'm Michelle, I am an Associate Product Manager at Tokiyama and I handle the Omnichroma line and the f cycle Pro lines. So without further ado, I'm going to stop the video and share my presentation. Here we go. And away we go. Are you guys able to see my slides? Yep. Okay, perfect. So Omnichroma, a resin-based dental restorative material by Tokiyama Dental. Um, I'm just gonna jump right in. This slide shows a classification of resin composites by shade system. You can see that we have multi-layer systems and also one-layer systems. This is what everyone is used to using, right? Um, we see our very own products up here, s -Lite Omega, as well as s -Lite Sigma Quick. Yes, they still had shades, um, and that's just with typical composites up until now. Omnichroma is the first universal composite that offers one shade to match any patient in almost every case. So Tokiyama is here to shake up the composite game. Um, just one product is gonna handle every, most every case. Okay, and then before diving into the product itself, I just wanna discuss a little background information about the science behind Omnichroma. Um, we know that color is nothing more than the wavelength of light that reaches our eyes. So violet being the smallest and red being the largest. And these wavelengths make up the visible spectrum of what we can see in our day to day. And as you know, um, human teeth fall exclusively within this red to yellow color space. So we can see that in the different beta shades on the right that they vary from lightness to darkness as we know. So um, the vast majority of colors that we experience in our lives from paints and animals and plants and things like that is based on this um, chemical color producing phenomenon. 
So in the case of chemical colors, it's the material itself that determines the color. So the, the molecules of the material actually reflect a particular wavelength um, of that source light back, and we perceive those different wavelengths of reflected light as the color of that material. So for a rough example, the plant that you see before you um, is because of white light. It hits the plant, the plant reflects only the green wavelengths back, and thus to our eyes, this plant is green. And this is, again, typical of composites today, is we rely on chemical colors. Um, we have to add dyes and pigments to make sure that it's that C1, that C2, that C3 shade, and they have specific shades for specific teeth. Um, some have limited shade matching ability, but not much. Um, for example, our Astolite Sigma Quick is well known for shade matching capabilities, as you can see. Um, but when a C3 of ESQ is placed in a C1 tooth, it doesn't match as well. Okay. And then on the other hand um, of chemical color is structural color. Structural color is really rare. Um, this is when the perceived color is generated by an interaction of light with the microscopic structure of the material itself. So with objects that exhibit structural colors, light enters the surface of the object and different wavelengths are amplified or weakened through microscopic structures, usually nanometers in size. Um, and the shape and exact size of these structures affect the wavelength of light as it exits the, the material. So for example, we see this naturally occurring phenomenon in morpho butterflies. Um, morpho butterflies are not actually blue. If you strip away the light and zoom in on a microscopic level, they are actually brown. But because of the way that we perceive it, the way that the light bounces in between that structure, we see it as this metallic blue. Same thing with the soap bubble or the, the back surface of a CD. As you move the bubble, as you move the CD, um, the light is bouncing off of that surface and reflecting those rainbow colors back at us. So with smart chromatic technology, as we've coined it, Omnichroma is actually the first dental composite to utilize structural color as the basis for its primary feature. Um, so as ambient light passes through Omnichroma, we see here in this little chart, um, the fillers that Omnichroma is made of generate the red to yellow color spectrum, so the natural colors of the human teeth. Um, and because all human teeth already possess the red to yellow color structure that is generated by Omnichroma, um, this color combines with the reflected color of the starting tooth and dentition, and it creates that perfect shade match. So again, light hits the composite, it um, reflects the colors from the starting tooth and structure, and then reflects that back at our eyes, which is why it's always color matching. And then these are the fillers themselves. So we can see on the left hand here, um, 260 nanometers is that perfect sweet spot to recreate human teeth and that structural color. So the red to color spectrum is visible here. You can't really tell because it's a black background and again, it's on a PowerPoint. So it's a little bit different, but we can see that those um, filler powders are showing up to a red to yellow color spectrum. We see 180 nanometers only exhibits the blue we see that these irregular filler powders come out as white and then the fume silica does not show up. So we see that the fillers on this right hand little box here, the black and white um, box, they're all packed nice and tightly in uniform spheres, which is quite different from what we see in traditional composites, which appear more gravelly. And in turn, they're kind of more success susceptible to chips and wear on the composite. Um, but with this, when they're packed all tightly, it creates higher strength, polishability, and I can get into that in a little bit. So with the fillers and the technology combined, um, we get Omnichroma. So it's a simplified resin composite with just one shade who can match all um, or most of your patients, eliminates the need for incidental shades, um, that D4 that sits on your shelf until it expires because not enough patients need that tube, or um, never be shirt stocked on a shade because it's just one shade. So you can always just grab the Omnichroma. And then with features and indications, um, obviously the unprecedented shade matching ability. Um, and shade matches before and after bleaching. A lot of people um, actually are pretty shocked by this fact, but it does make a lot of sense because if the tooth structure changes itself, um, Omnichroma is going to change with it. So whether that be through bad habits, I smoke a pack a day, I drink a glass of wine every day, um, and my teeth have stained or darkened over time, um, Omnichroma will follow that darker color. Now, on the other hand, you don't have to pluck it out before you bleach or um, bleach first and then place the composite because Omnichrome is always going to um, move with the tooth shape. And like I mentioned before, um, all the high polishability, the physical mechanical pro um, properties, the glossiness, all of that great stuff is inherited from our previous Estelite lines. Um, so they have that great polishability and that um, strength and everything like that from the fillers themselves. We've just figured out a way to make it just one shade. 
Indications, of course, direct anterior and posterior restorations, direct bonded composite veneer, diastema closure, and the repair of porcelain and composite. So we're gonna take a look at the clinical procedure. Um, it's basically any other composite that you've used before, um, but we do like to note that Omnichroma does extrude opaque white so that you're able to see it when you're placing it in the tooth. Um, but after you cure it, it does look more natural in appearance and blends with the color of the surrounding tooth. So we, um, to, just to prepare it, we recommend chamfers to eliminate margin visibility and then aid in the shade matching so it really just blends into the tooth. Apply your bonding agent according to your manufacturer's instructions. Um, and if you're using tub, no need to, like here or anything, just air dry and you're on your way. You would fill with Omnichroma, two millimeter increments, and like here, finish and polish. So it's pretty simple for the posterior and the anterior is the same thing. We recommend um, a bevel. You would place the Omnichroma, like here, and finish and polish. So like I said, it's just like any other composite that you've used before. Um, it's just that you don't have to shade take. We see here, before and after, we see that it's opaque white, and then after we've cured it, it does blend into the tooth. Okay, so for cases where there is a lack of surrendering dentition or maybe there's staining or a color that you don't want Omnichroma to reflect, um, we do have a supplemental product called Omnichroma Blocker. You are not going to need this in every single case, but we do have it just for those cases. So again, large class threes and fours where there's um, maybe like a through and through and there's not enough tooth structure to pull color from. Um, this would help overcome this limitation by creating a basically a lingual wall to help Omnichroma pull the color from. And it also, like I mentioned, can be used to um, mask slight staining from amalgam or reconstruct a highly opaque tooth. So how to use Omnichroma blocker? Very simple, just like any opaquer that you've used in the past. Um, we use it here in this procedure as a lingual layer for a large class three or class four to prevent that shade matching interference. So if we just placed Omnichroma in, um, in the tooth up here, it would probably try to pull color from the back of the mouth if the, the restoration is large enough, um, and we don't want that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bevel, we're gonna place blocker, um, and you don't need a whole lot. It's gonna be case by case, but most of the time it's just half a millimeter is all you need. Um, like here, apply Omnichroma, and then cure and finish, and that's really it. So taking a look at it clinically, um, 25 doctors completed a total of 841 cases in examining Omnichroma, 92.7% of which rated good or excellent for total average among all shades and classes. So we see that excellent polishability, stability under ambient light, and as well as handling. Then we're going to take a look at some case images. Okay, so here we have a class two. Another class two in the posterior. And then let's take a look at a dark tooth as well. All the photos that you're showing right now shows that they're natural. It looks like natural teeth restoration. Yeah, it, yeah, like, it really, really does. does. It's really cool. Yeah. And then finally, I have one with blocker as well. So the class three. So you see here that the tooth completely lacks uh, a structure to pull color from. So again, if I placed Omnichroma here, we can see the, the grayness from the pink of the tongue. Um, and, and Omnichroma will try to pull that through because that's what it was taught to do. It's placed and then it pulls color. So what we did was we placed an Omnichroma blocker wall in, um, in order for Omnichroma to sit on top of. And then we see the beautiful restoration that looks really natural here. Okay, so with Omnichroma, in comparison to our competitors, um, like I said, with the s -Lite Sigma Quick and the s -Lite Omega, all those, um, those really great fillers that Omnichroma has inherited has also given it the high polishability, high glossiness, great flexural strength, maybe I should slow down a little bit, let's slow down. <laughs> Mm 
really uh, low wear and abrasion. So we see Omnichroma and S Light Sigma Quick have really great wear resistance in comparison to competitors of ours. And low shrinkage. Really important. Um, Omnichroma also is stain resistant and has great color stability. Working time. Colonization. And we can see the a pretty grand change from color and translucency before and after. Um, because remember, it comes out opaque white. So you can see it when it's placed in the tooth while you're working with it. And then as you cure it, it'll shape match to the, the color that you're looking for. And lastly, it is radio opaque. So MSRP, as, as Eduardo said, um, Young's Dental is going to have a different price for you. But MSRP, what we recommend for the syringes, for four grams is $99.99, not that bad. And then for the compules is $103.99. So same amount, four grams, um, it's just 20 of the two gram, 0.2 gram um, carpules, or we call them preloaded tips, the PLTs. Right now we are running a special um, for Young's Dental. It is buy two, get one Omnichroma at no charge. Um, please limit three redemptions per doctor. And the promo code is YDOMNI20. Um, and then anything that you see in this bottom row is within the Omnichroma line. So it really just boils down to preference. So say for example, your practice prefers PLTs or carpules. Um, you can absolutely do two Omnichroma and one blocker just to have that on hand. Or if you wanted to do two Omnichroma and an additional Omnichroma, you are more than welcome to. Please take advantage of this. Um, we really want you guys to try it. And if you guys have not tried it, um, you can go to Omnichroma.com and then you can select US. But from there, you can actually um, request a free sample. So if you have not received your free sample yet, please do so. Um, we want you guys to try it, like I said. And if you have any other additional questions about um, our other products, you can always visit tokiyama-us.com. Um, we do actually have a new page up there for free CE. So if you guys are looking for free CE, it's through Viva Learning um, and you can hop on there to take a look at those. And thank you. Thank you, Michelle. Now, Michelle, how long have Omnichroma been on the market for? Great question. So Omnichroma officially launched at um, the midwinter a year ago. So it's been a year and a half and we have um, been up since. <laughs> yeah. I remember we had a booth next to you guys uh, in LA Dental meeting and everyone was going to you guys because of your product. It was, it was like, I saw it myself when you guys did a demo for me and I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. You don't have to be having multiple products with the, you just have one Omnichroma product and that's correct. Is that correct? Yes. And that's the crazy thing is so many people are so used to having at least some shades, right? Um, right. And I can hop back on camera. Um, they're used to having at least some shades. So it's funny when I'm at the show and people are like, no way. And the demos are a really cool way to, um, oops, I'll share. Uh, a really cool way to just kind of show them because it really is a see it to believe it kind of technology. You can tell people all day long, hey, I've got a one shape composite and, and they'll tell you, I know, I know you do. So does everyone else. But until they see it in their hands, it's, it's really, like I said, see it to believe it kind of product. But yeah, it's really cool. We've been super busy at the shows. We love doing the shows because we get to do the demos with the doctors and, and be able to show them what Omnichrome is capable of. Yeah, it's a great product. I mean, both product, the bonding and the Omnichroma, but Omnichroma has just been like, I know it's a newer product and people are talking about it because it's just like, it's unheard of where you only have to get one shade or I don't know, it's even considered a shade, but just one of them and then it can work with many, uh, a different patient so you don't have to keep your your inventory full of different shades and just keeping it clutter free <laughs> and a big yeah. thing you know, once you place the composite that's it you want to just leave the composite you don't want to have to come back after two years to redo it and that's the great thing about omnichroma is it will follow that color whether or not they bleach or whether or not their teeth change color over time okay perfect so we talked about both the product the bonding and omnichroma uh, is there anything else you guys wanted to share with us? Um, I just want to say that um, Tokyo. Yeah, 
Mm -hmm. I just want to say Tokyama won this year innovative product, uh, company of the year by dental advisors. So not only Omnichroma or Universal Bond, we do have other great products. We have amazing cement. We have other composites like for um, cosmetic dentistry. We have amazing denture line that's been uh, the, the best denture line material for seven years in a row. So we're really proud of our products, our company. And I just want to say that you guys should try you guys gonna love it okay well like you said you know if you guys want samples uh, you can log on to the website and then request for a demo and uh yeah and also if you guys are looking to purchase the orders you can go through us you saw the promotions that we have here for cda special mm -hmm. and do we know how long this uh, special is going to be last going on for um i would have to let's see I believe it's just a week or two, just like any other trade show. Um, mm -hmm. What I can do is I can get that exact date for you, just to just to be absolutely sure, and I'll send that over as, as soon as we're done with the Zoom call. Okay, perfect. Well, you guys don't wait too long. We, you know, we got a short period of time, and let's try get this product mm -hmm. into your office and uh, and experiment with it. I think you guys will be happy with that as well. Oh, One Michelle? last thing, if you have any specific questions that you want to ask myself or Eduardo directly, um, feel free to shoot us an email. My email is just my first and last name, um, michelle.chan at tokiyama-us.com. So if you want to shoot me an email, I'm more than happy to answer it. Yeah, and mine is just eduardo uh, at tokiyama-us.com. That's it. Pretty simple. Perfect. Okay, well, I just want to thank you guys for your time to introduce your product and the promotion and um, thanks for joining us everybody that's on here and if you guys have any questions feel free to give them a contact and uh, you guys have a great day and, and thanks for joining being with us thank Goodbye. you see you next time bye bye, bye, -bye.